Okay, we're back on the record. I think right now we're going to try and offer, I'm, I'm going to give you, August 7th at 1.30 on an emergency basis. No other settings. Everybody be here promptly. We do open the courtroom promptly at 1.30. We are now going to be in, write this down, defendant's dad's case in chief. He intends to call mom next <clears throat> because it's going to be put over to August 7th. He can, if he wants, order the video. And um, I'm just saying logistics. You got to tell video transcript to hurry up. You got to trial August 7th and they need to burn it for you on a flash drive and it doesn't take that long for them this to do it. Hours. If they give you, um, you've gotten videos before? No, I, I asked when I filed papers this okay. afternoon. Uh, okay, call my department if they give you a hard time. But I know that you have that option. Yes, I want to say on the record that now because of the new date, he has that option because now he can review and, and fashion his cross exam quote. If he wants to just go off the minutes, that's just fine with me. But um, it has to be within the scope of the direct. So your default testimony is still part of the record. Uh, the only thing I would ask you is because it was a default, you didn't know you weren't planning on a default here, do you, are you satisfied with the totality of the questions that you've asked mom Obviously. and explored all that? Thank you, counsel. So you go watch the video if you want, and then you fashion your cross-examined questions based on what mom testified to when you were not here in court. Yeah. So when you say I may have to set time limits now because yeah. basically the way I add it up, it's possible you guys are on even keel right now and he's the one getting I, I would his just case in chief. You say three uh, hours is it and he has three hours to present his case. I don't see any other, I don't anticipate any other outside witnesses, rebuttal or otherwise. These two here are the main witnesses. Right. And it's going to be, it should be, as we see, an hour and a half for mom an hour and a half for you and as long as we don't go to repetitive stuff you mean if you want to split your I case three evenly hours or only get one and a half. three for your case in chief okay. so half it goes to mom's testimony or however you want to divvy it up okay. if you prefer to take two hours and give only mom one hour can I bring those two witnesses back no, I'll be honest with you they're very collateral you two know your kids better than anybody else your testimony is much more important to the court than a I collateral don't waste your witness. Time. I respect your response. Absolutely. Yes, um, and for, and I have a duty to run my courtroom to make sure everything gets to closure. Fair enough. I understand. You're not my only case. I'm feeling it everywhere that I need to wrap up cases, and in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm at home working every weekend, writing trial decisions, lengthy one. And Mr. Ernst can tell you I wrote a lengthy one in one of his other by cases. That's the year, right? Because aren't you retiring? Not end of the year. No, <laughs> but it feels like I want yes. to retire. I'm so tired. But so we're going to be done on the Yeah, though. the law of diminishing returns, you guys know that. If you're working here, 845 nonstop, but no, and I'm used to it. But at this late hour, I want him to go have dinner with Gage. Well, actually, no, your time is at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Did you already arrange somebody? Cause I, yeah. He's not at home. He's with okay. his football friends right but now. Can we get so. an address to where he's at, please? We need to pick up Gage. Her time is is starting yeah, at but six. Can I, just go pick, I haven't had a chance to. Have, I'd like to go have dinner. With him. <laughs> I don't know if he's got to change clothes. I don't know if he's he because there. parents fight. We have to enforce the orders and rules. You know, dinner will have to be postponed until your next custodial day. Which will be t tomorrow morning. What can I be? ask for? Can I ask for overnight, Your Honor? Because I've just, uh, there's there's really no reason why I should at have this overnight. late hour. I really not. Watch not. The interviews where the I'm children. not going to go there, but I'm just going to just for. To avoid any chaos and conflict, stick with the orders. Your Honor, I, I really okay. sincerely, I'm begging the court for my overnights. I have done nothing wrong. It's all hearsay. It's not There's the no, court today. there is no criminal record. I have no record. Wait a minute. On my understanding of the last order was there any changes? No, Your Honor. Yeah, it was. It was just from I, I having from 10 to 6, and that's he it. He will have unsupervised day visits from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I'm sorry. When was that order? June 20th. Yeah, but that was the not following the order. To but that us. was the default. That was the default. But I cannot do that with you know my work uh, coming up to travel. I know what you out. want, and I know what Mom wants, but I don't know what Gage wants. I tell you what Gage wants. He wants this whole thing to go away. No, Gage wants to live with his mom. That's what he said okay. in the interview. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I that was, I I, I oh, kind of walked into that one. No, I mean as far as his. Uh, wishes about overnight with the dad. He, the, he, he has sisters. He wants to be but in a relationship. I can't. Have these sisters. I, have the these, videos were coached. I have the type of parents that they will not be able to get to the bottom of things if I say, why don't you two ask Gage and see what he wants, but they'll never agree. So, uh, when you're in a high conflict case, you 
stick with the orders. And we are Your Honor. Seven, fourteen days away from trial. Your Honor, real quick. So before you make a decision, I would like to continue on because decision. I have evidence that would prove my case to allow him to stay overnight. And he has evidence apparently he hasn't given us because nothing we've seen. Would All I can say is say anything other than Mom wants to ask him that question and if he's begging to be with his dad overnight, it's, would you deny him? He's not begging. He's not begging. <laughs> And again, as you heard, it makes sense he didn't want to go. But I'm today. just saying. Your Honor. I'm just saying. I, okay. I will prove parental alienation at its fullest. Okay. Well, it is not improper for you to ask me to modify the last order from June 20th, but because of the, the, the high conflict in this case, and because we're so close to closure on, on the trial in this case, I see no reason to amend the order. We you didn't need to You get to see your child from 10 to 6 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Your you Honor, see him. And the first weekend of every month. I'm, I'm going to be out of okay. town coming up to the first weekend. I couldn't. Today was my day to have him, Your Honor. You got him. So we can switch. We can swap your weekend to this well, next weekend. Well, I'd like to have him. Yeah, but Your, your Honor, my point. Which will be you, the last weekend before school starts. Before you correct. Make the, before you make this ruling, please the let me. I think my ruling helped you. I know. I know. But I want. I want to also establish foundation of my requests to amend the order in place. There's no cause. To there is plenty the of cause. The CPO. Was supported it's, by the child. Your Honor, he keeps hollering over the child. All right, my pronouncement is request times. denied. You get your Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. You get to see your boy three days a week. But I will Honor, swap your not first not weekend. What, by the time we have the trial on August 7th, I will hopefully try and make a final decision in this case. Your Honor, um, you I'll tell you what. Can, can I, 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 I hate, I hate doing that. this, but if you want compensatory time for the overnights before school starts or for any other. Um, wherever he starts school, I'll just say generically, we can put that in, on the table. Yes, he's missed. He has table, missed we're seven still football games. Okay, uh, uh, look, I, I don't have to do this, but if I, I want, know. if you want to put a request for compensatory, we'll see where this trial ends up. Yes, you've already ruled on football. Okay. Gages, you get to see your boy three days a week. Thank you. In the first okay, no time. changes to the order, council. I'm just adding that request, and it's not been decided yet. But okay. Ms. Clark, put that in the minutes to remind me to rule on Dad's compensatory request for this short time period because I amended the order um, and gave him only the day visits. And if he proves or disproves Mom's case, uh, the request is on the table. We do need to clarify, Your Honor. The exchanges were supposed to occur. Ten to six. Dollar Tree store. Dollar Tree, yeah. Yes. And he he now tries to change it and says any Dollar Tree store. Well, I, I should have to drive video, to Anderson two times Mom a day. That's punishment. Put on I mean, the I can't, hold on. If you Mom know me, on, I always ask for an address. Mom put on the record the specific address. Eastern Silverado. Eastern Wigwam. Eastern Wigwam. There's Wigwong. a Dollar Tree right next to my address. If I go get him, and so he's trying to change up. the order again. There's only one Dollar Tree at Eastern Wigwam. Yes, but there's the same Dollar Tree. It was not. To, uh, there's no reason why I should have. No, to. I can't. No, I can't we agreed on what no Wigwam and Eastern. It's only for orders. the next couple of weeks. Who knows what happens after that? I can't afford that, Your Honor. I, ha I have no income. I can't afford to drive all the way to Eastern and Wigwam from Lone Mountain two times a day, and that limits my time period with him. I just can't do it. Uh, I mean, that's, that's seventy-five dollars a day in gas. Not Every a day. Days. Yeah, days. not a day. No, take a guess. It's twenty-five dollars. I there and back. I give my friend a ride home to the South Point, and I live on the other end of town. But I can't. A couple days it. a week, and my I still have more than half a yeah. tank of gas. Yeah, your honor, it was your order on June yeah. My There's vehicle is down from places. all the miles I've driven right now. I'm having to borrow my. You don't bar. lose time with your boy by exchanging at ten and at six. So I'm not including your travel time. As far as gas money, I, there's no reason why she can't come up. And as far as any $50. normal average car, it's not going to cost you seventy-five dollars for two tanks it's of gas. SUV, it's a Hemi, and my car is down. And my spouse's car uses nine there's miles of gas. The court rules. It doesn't make it any. It's fair. It's fair if, I, if we go halfway. I'll gladly drive there and pick so him up. She should come and pick him up. Because he's not having overnights, he'd like to take the boy up to his side of town. For eight hours. If I say I'm not going to include the travel time, then it takes about 30, 35 minutes to get there, and I can extend the exchange time from 6 to 6.35. And I'm not talking about his gas money. Well, I have, I have football practice that starts at 6.30. Then you can't. That's why you did it at 6, because you can't make it then. Exactly. Okay. And I have 50 other kids waiting for me. So it's only fair. Right, everybody's sticking to their guns, though. It's at 9.30. 
Hmm? He could pick him up at 9.30 in the morning. I can't. Why? I have a prior commitments with my spouse's children. Spouse's children. And then it's a half hour later you got to pick him up. Well, I could try. I mean, you, but I still don't feel like I should have to drive the back and forth. Yeah. You know, it's it's probably a half hour difference. Right? Mom's trying to offer something workable for you. Additional half hour and... How about in the evenings instead of during the day? How about this we just go with the order? Uh, as if as you two will go back and forth on this, then the order sticks. Because we spent time at the last time to figure out the best schedule for him. Okay, as far as our overnights... Six to, six to eleven. No, we're, we're not no. renegotiating with the Six to eleven? Yes. Eleven you're going to be at football practice. You can't spend time with Gage while you're coaching. I, I just can't. I keep it the way it is. It's just not fair for me to drive from Lone Mountain all the way down to some. It's, it's not fair, Your Honor. It's not fair. My client has to continue to come here to address issues about... Last time you were in court, I mean, last time you brought an attorney, you wanted everything set aside. We granted it because I want to make sure you have your day in court. And yes, then right. nitpick over these little things. If you're a parent, it's not about what's convenient for you or for mom. If you love your kid, you go get your kid at a designated court ordered location. That's all I have to say. And we're okay. two weeks away from finishing up the trial. I intend to finish it. I got to get it done before first day of school. I have a lot of other school trials, but we got to get it done. You're going to have to hang there for two weeks, sir. So Dad understands. Make He's the got commitment. Three hours he needs to put his I'm sure they give you that kind of motivation. I mean, I coach kids too, but you got to, you just got to stay motivated and you got to hang in there and you got to do what you got to do. There's no way. Whatever the cause. I understand that and I respect your decision. Yeah. I'm just simply saying there's no way I can afford that. I can't do it. And if I can't go pick up my son, and I don't want him to look bad on me in the court. He keeps saying he respects your decision, but he doesn't follow. You know, I know. Okay, let's not get into each other's skin. Yes. But the um, I'm just asking for fairness. The court's rule. How about I do this? I'll put a gas compensatory amount on the table once I make my final decision. These are minute issues, but if he wants some certain reimbursement for gas money, all I can do is put that on the table as well. Put that in the minutes, Ms. Clark. Okay. Um, so it's the dollar I, story. I said I would consider giving you gas money back. Okay. All right, but you just got to hang and wait for two weeks. All right, do what you can. You do what you can as a parent, and then I'll put gas reimbursement for you um, when this went in effect on July 5th. Since July 5th, gas money. And we need to clarify Dad keeps on insisting Gage needs to play football. The June 20th order says Gage football in the bag can be postponed until the next school year. The school is coming up, Your Honor. He has missed. Not up here. He has missed. Uh, is there a specific request? Because he's not doing football right now. No. That, we, you, we just want the court to have Dad honor that order. Because he respects what you said, he says. But he, he still wants to insist the child go to football. The Plus, I've read, I've heard the child interview as well. The school year starting, and football practice is starting now. <laughs> Dad has a point with consistency if the child remains in Nevada. If Absolutely. the child goes to Seattle, then what's the point, right? So, there's a consistency argument, but let me see. Did the child say it in the interview? Yeah, I like to play football. My mom could be team mom, but I don't want my dad coaching me. That's what he said. Sounds like he still has an interest in football, but um, is a two-week delay in either camp or football going to harm his chances of? No. And again, you already yes, wrote, Honor. He, he has missed already two that. on all American games. He has missed eight. I already football knew games. about that. He's missed eight. What is going games. on right now in the next two weeks? Uh, conditioning, Pro training, and he's he's been sitting at her house playing video games. Oh. He needs to be in shape because. As soon as football season starts, the first game is at the I could say you could provide that in your eight hours time with him three days a That's week. That's why I suggested if we move it from six. No, I'm not yeah. moving it, but you can do it on your time. Uh, again, Your Honor, June 20th. But it's not critical. It's not mandatory. The football in Nevada can be postponed until next school year. Yeah, yes. We just need to That means that anything after August, at least August 13th or right. whatever. The season will be on, is already in way, though. Your Honor, all these facts. I understand that's that. Why that's why I mentioned it because you're, you know, yes, I see that. it from all angles. Yes. And but no consistency, reason. conditioning, you can do conditioning, take him to the gym or whatever on your time. But he needs to be with the, 
but I'm not aware of any rule with the league that says if he starts in the middle of the season or he needs to start. He, you got to tell me now. Yes, he. And it's, they, the registrations are already going on now. He's registered. And you he's paid for be, it? Yes. He's got to be there. It's mandatory. I even told her and talked to the parents. Mandatory practices started last week. Yeah. He could pay for registration, but he can't pay Maybe for Maybe Mom knows a little too. bit about this? Huh? You know about the registration. Yeah. Your Honor, if I can speak frankly. Um, if you can kind of make it to okay. the point, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I went off the minutes and what Mr. Uh, Smith, told, yeah. Smith told me about postponed football. Meaning it's on complete hold. Right, it's on complete hold, but yet he, in talking parents, He demands, registered the boy in football. No, 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 right, but then he demands that I take him on my days. He demands, he makes threats. And, yes, no threats. demands. That's all here, and then, you can and, see and talking then you can, Okay, you demanding or not demanding, on. but what is it, like, how many days a week he wanted you to take games? It's on my days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's, it's a, at night. Pattern. It's at it's night. It's what we've done for the past... Seven years. He doesn't get it. It's when you're talking practice, are you a coach ever. or not a coach? I am a coach, but he's going to the 12 view. I'm staying with the team. See, but you're on the same field. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, he doesn't even consult what team. I have no idea what team he's on. He doesn't have any. I don't give my permission. Your Honor, it's There's clearly nothing. stated football is your deal. She's, oh everything, my everything is harassment at, is out of her mouth. I have it is everything that has been said has mm -hmm. been hearsay. It's false allegations. He doesn't know what hearsay is. I have I have to listen to this. I'm I get it. I'm defending my love, for my child. I've done nothing. I've wrong. had this all day. I have my cases. I know you do. You can you can weed the snakes out of the grass, Your Honor. See through this. I have a clean record. There's not been any. I've been arrested. Yeah, but I've made I've I've made. I told you. I see it from Remember, my Remember, he angles. denied at the very beginning he'd been arrested. Now he at least acknowledges that he's, he's not. And um, we went through this. Practices would be up in Centennial. Uh, practices are at Ed Fountain Field. Game you've Decatur and Washington? Yes, you're on. Or Decatur, yeah, that's, Decatur. And yeah, that's where he's, that's the majority of our practices. Drive from and then Eastern. all Star is going to be over, uh, we're actually going to move from Ed Fountain to the middle school right behind it in a, a week, I think. He is what is two going weeks to going to make a difference? Sport. You can do conditioning with him. And I have no way to verify that missing two weeks may ruin his chances of getting, not getting on the team. And, and, and this is a paid, no this is a paid league, right? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, it's not through school. No. Um, and he is a, he's a formerly registered member. I don't see. However, Your Honor, this is something that he needs to do. I have no way to verify. Of this. He has to have this. It's the best thing for him. He needs to, to do this to Washington escape. To that he has I agree had. with you. Sports is an outlet for him, and to kind of get his mind off the of things. There is no reason that he needs to be with his friends. There is an issue, though, because he's going to be there allegation. on the field with his dad, he and maybe be. he has issues with his relationship with his dad. That's what he said in the interview. Which is all you can tell. Which about. might make him feel uncomfortable, even though his dad is not his coach. Yeah. He doesn't want to go. He's made it clear. He does want to go. It's, it's, it's parental alienation. It's like kind group. of not that clear on the interview other than I don't want my dad you coaching can, me. You can and clearly tell that he's been coached to say what he was said on the interview, Your Honor. There's absolutely okay. no evidence of coaching. And Ponzo would tell you if there were. Looking at it from all angles, Dad has his eight-hour days. He can do conditioning with the boy. I have no way to verify if it's going to ruin his football career or not, but... Uh, with kids that age, and it's a paid league, um, and I don't even know what the costs are or what monies would be lost. It's but picked up by sponsors, basically. It's the sponsors are paying for him. He's ranked the number one in the country, Your Honor, and he's sitting back playing video games, wasting his talent. Your Honor, we're They're doing absolutely we've not through, managed, well, you've already ruled you upon. point yeah, the finger, but you've got him three days a week sport. during his waking hours. So what are you doing with him three days a week? Yeah, but we, we also have two other children. We want to go spend family time as well. Okay. And do that. And consistency is in the evening. Plus, Your Honor, uh, the, last time, the last time, Your Honor, we were here, the plaintiff clearly looked in your face and told you she was going on vacation. She never left the state of Nevada. She never went on vacation. And, uh, because he damaged her finances. I did not damage anything, Your Honor. Okay, so not do I, I don't punish parents for having staycations. For but but why at that point in time when she told you she okay. was leaving. I'm not taking sides here, but she, I don't is, think that, that kind of, that's not important for me to have to do with his football. We're talking about two weeks. Exactly. Two weeks. And you could do whatever you want on your eight hours with him, and I won't count the travel time. So, um, 
but you can't do the 6.30. Mom's offering the 9.30. You better decide now if you want to take her offer for 9.30 or we'll stick with the 10 o'clock. I don't have all the easy answers on football and um, it's not enough time to figure out extra time. And just so that words a no on football. Yeah, no. Uh, Dollar Tree store. Um, yeah, missing two weeks is not... Um, I don't think it's going to be that forever damaging about his ranking and everything. And depending on the custody ruling and whether he gets to relocate or not, um, whatever is in his best interest, obviously, we can only do so much. Okay. And you got parents that can't agree, then I'd hate for Gage to grow up and then take a look back at this and see why parents couldn't agree on stuff like that. But, um... I can't do anything for the next two weeks on football, and I can't please either one of you, but all I know is from Gage's perspective and my just whatever limited experience I have with kids enrolled in very competitive sports, I think two weeks is not going to hurt anything. You're right. You're right. You know why? Because there's other leagues to join, right. but you're on and maybe they'll let them in due to special circumstances if mom doesn't prevail. You're on. If mom does prevail, you're talking about a whole new story and whatever he wants to do in Seattle in terms of sports and football. Your Honor, I, I respect that and I understand that. The yeah. point is, two weeks, yes, you're, you're right. Two weeks is not going to do anything. To me, it sounds like but, my gut tells me I don't know what I can do in two but weeks. But it's been the seven to eight weeks prior to that she's kept him from me with no just cause telling you that she's been on vacation and she wasn't. Well, then, he that, I don't know if that... Writers, he says, but he that's what I'm talking about. Them. That's, yeah. It's two weeks, you're right, but it's the seven weeks prior to that she's lied, manipulated well, this court. She didn't violate any orders to yeah, with the seven the weeks. She had an order for seven calling my client weeks. A liar and yeah. Just needs she to stated stop. she was going on vacation. Apples and she's oranges. She's not the one that testified under oath. I've never And I don't know if that man. hurts or helps his argument because then he hasn't been doing any football for the last seven, I nine weeks. But Gage hasn't. Yeah. I mean, he, he has. has he, we've been working out eight okay. a little bit, but no, he needs to move uh, this. I could. Dad's only thing he cares about this child is his football. Yeah, football, for the football, consistency football, football, doesn't. Football. Um, the consistency does not outweigh the current state of the parents' conflict. The kids being caught in the middle of this conflict. Gavin's still part of this, um, and but for purposes of gauge, uh, the uh, football takes a back seat to um, getting a final decision on two in the next two weeks. Kids are on summer vacation too. Any 11 year old would want to just enjoy the rest of their vacation. And there might be, um, what do you call it, good or harmful perceptions of Gage if he was told by the court, you will go to football. And does that mean, is it send a message to him that, uh, is my mom encouraging this or did is my dad putting me up to this? And I don't know. Yeah, but I can't do it. Yeah. But you could do what you can with him to keep him up with his. Uh, athletic condition, yes, and right. we'll get a decision in August 7th, hopefully. Uh, if you wish to limit closing arguments to 10 to 15 minutes, absolutely, can do. I can try and see if I can do an oral decision. What does that mean? I may, if it's feasible, I haven't done it in a while, but I will go out there, put my, my thoughts together, and then go through the analysis and make the decision. Then you prepare the order. I'll do an oral decision off the bench. The sooner the better, Your Honor, for these kids' sake. Because, again, as Gavin said in the interview, this situation... Okay. Can we continue on, please? I am... Um, we're we're kind of done for tonight, so... Can I... Can we at least have another half hour, Your Honor? Your Honor, you directed him to give the address, and then he deflected. For purpose... His time is over today. I want to... I'm not helping him or anything, but you might want to look at the video where you weren't here so you can fashion your questions and to the point. Because what is on that video, I have pages of notes, type notes here. Okay. May, like, like what she testified to. You provided me the notes. May I have the notes from that day, please? I gave you notes before? Yes, you, yes, you did, Your Honor. Do I care, Mr. Anderson? It's just verbatim what she testified to. You, if you, you get it, if he gets it, I give it to you. Yeah. Do you I mean, care? You did. Do you care? I don't care. All right, thank you. We can have it. Let me get it. Uh, it takes us through today, though. I'm up to page nine. What pages do you have up to? I have up to page five. Question 104 was the last entry. Does it say... Um, 
Anyway, Next day, A&E. both vehicles return to driveway? Yes, that's the last entry. I will give you page 5 through 9, which actually includes today. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I'm a nice judge. Thank you. I don't know any other judge that do this, but I'll give you guys 5 to 9. Two copies, Ms. Clark. So are we wrapping up for today to clarify? Considering the day I had today, yes. yeah. And so we still need, I need to, to add to give I need to stay alive. For gauges, <laughs> as you asked him before. What? We still need Dad to give the address for gauges, as you asked him before. By the time we leave the court, I can meet her at the east. Uh, the address where he what stays? He said Gage wasn't at home, so we asked for I the address. Yeah, he's with his sisters. Of course, he doesn't. Have Stepsisters. Whatever. But or he's with his girlfriends. Or his I haven't been able to get a hold. He doesn't know where the kid is. So I'm he's, sorry. He's, where does Gage hang out on your time? He's either at home with our family. With the and what address is that home? What street is that home on? Forty-two, twelve Holly Hill Street. Wow. And if he's not there, where else does he hang out? He could be over at Nico's, or he could be over at uh, doing an event over at Gravity, doing something at Gravity. Does Mom know Nico's house? No. That's again. One and reason. which address are you looking for? I just wherever my significant other can pick him up. He's been waiting for 40 minutes on stand. 45 now for standby. We What's his name again? Daniel. Dave. David? Daniel. Daniel. By the time he reaches, but I can meet him at the same location they pick him up. At Cheyenne and 215 at the Dollar Tree. See, where's Gage now? What intersection? <laughs> we don't pick up the Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Cheyenne and, Cheyenne and Lone Mountain. No, they run parallel. What's the... Well, he's, Cheyenne. Is it that park? It's by this wall. It's like by Alexander and Cheyenne. That in that general vicinity. It's a neighborhood. Yeah. In that neighborhood, where's the, the Daniel? He's in Henderson. He's in Henderson. Yeah, you you can go there straight and get there half twice as fast as Daniel. Exactly. So you could tell Daniel, just hang out in Henderson. You get in your car and go pick him and up. And go pick up my son. Yeah. At where? Uh, Cheyenne, yeah. Alexander, I know, uh, and, and, uh, there's a Dollar Tree, tree right there. there. Rampart, Durango? No, 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 there's a Dollar Tree right there at 215 at Cheyenne when you get off the highway. That's where we've been meeting. Um, That's that big gas station there? Yeah, the terrible. The, 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 the terrible. The follow the order, yeah. exactly. Um, I know, but I want to make sure you get your son, and it's, okay. you're here now. With no traffic, you could buzz up there in like 20, 25 so minutes flat. Things. We could be there the same time. Cheyenne and yeah. whatever today, but he'll, and from now on, it's He'll have, Gage will have, have less wait time when his mom arrives all the way up there, and you can have that long ride home with Gage. All right. Thank you. Really? All right, Mom will, I will direct Mom to go meet you on your Thank side you. of town tonight and go get him at the Cheyenne and 215. There is a major gas station there, but there is, I think, a Dollar yes. Tree, but you can locate it on your phone and find out where in the shopping center it's at. You're on. Is it behind the gas station? It's behind the gas station left by the new Capriotis. By there's the new a Capriotis there yes. and I think there's like a Timbers there or something. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you know to find the Dollar Tree there. Your Honor, real one request. This morning on pickup, uh, I have evidence of the order that was violated on her boyfriend. He New picked, evidence. I, I picked up. Honor, I picked up. Okay, hold on. Third, I picked up Gage this morning. He pulled right in front of my vehicle. He blocked my vehicle from me exiting. And when Gage walked out of the car, he's giving me the bird and laughing at me. I got Daniel. Yes, Daniel did that. So to prevent any other further allegations, no pick more up, Daniel pickups. No more Daniel pickups. For now, for the next two weeks. Yes, Your Honor. Never could seem that. I'm not taking any accusations, right. but right could here, you right. email that video right. to Again, the Anderson? It's another yes. lately produced, I'll email untimely produced exhibit by Daniel. I'm not putting Daniel on trial, but if he wants to, I want to make sure you have due process and notice of the video. We'll get to that point, and you can object whether he gets to introduce it or not. Well, One of the factors is level of conflict. He can it's decide how he uses three hours. You can hit play, up, look at your phone, I, whatever you want to do. I, can I say one more thing? He blocked me. Um, I first, would just say for the next two weeks, you're okay with that, yeah, just to avoid I, Daniel being accused. Well, and he never allows Daniel to pick up or drop off, by the way. This was a fluke. Are we talking about the same Daniel? Did my, yeah, my significant other. It's not the my other choice. Thing he is, does just, it all the time. Just so, just so you'll know. He, it's the same honor. guy that yeah, I Yeah, I get it, I sir. Have an, I have a video on the first day of his pickup on his visitation Great. on July the 5th. Of him removing himself from the car. Tell you what, if he wants to play his, I'll let you play yours. No, no, yeah, because he. Okay, 
And, and, and have he an email to that. Have a protective order against Daniel Lanzalato. Okay, if I have. haven't seen it, I'll allow it. It's, okay, it's behavior or this effect. You can play no, and then she can play him. hers. That's fine. It's, it's not against Daniel Lanzalato. Okay. But I'm making an order to protect, protect. Yes, Your Honor. He said, states. she said, an accusation against yeah. Daniel. No more Daniel pickups, please. Thank you, Your Honor. And I hope that doesn't cause a hardship on Mom. But it's to avoid any accusations. We're done. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. What are you still doing in the poorhouse, Mr. Smith?